Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, greetings for the day. So let's start again with our remaining portion. So today's agenda will be uh, how to do subtraction. In previous video we have seen how to do addition. Now we will see how to do subtraction. So there, uh, this entire video will be divided into five parts. First part we will see how we do our, uh, what is the general process general but the common process by which we do the subtraction then by this we will try to figure out the problem in this what is the problem figure out of the problem once we know how to solve this like once we will figure out what is the problem with this common subtraction and the reason why it is slower than our other methods then we will compare it with what our shopkeepers use uh, like if you will go to any market you will see shopkeepers use a different total different method and that I have named as shopkeepers method this is also very interesting method and at times it comes to like it, it is very handy so we should not uh, shy away from this then second method will be uh, once here once we will know the problem we will try to do some modifications modifications as in the way we deal things that we will try to modification note in this is that uh, our number of operations will be same number of operations will be same but still the execution will be faster execution will be faster third method we will see dnc divide and conquer this divide and conquer is also very uh, like important at times then the fourth method will be our subtra and modification subtra and modifications what is this uh, i will tell you and the fifth one will be the techniques of vedic mathematics And this Vedic mathematics, I will try to avoid all the jargons what we use. No jargons and no bullshit. Because this method, Vedic mathematics, even if it at times it is very uh, like powerful, but because of these jargons and the way they deal it, it becomes very clumsy. So we will try to avoid that. And with all that, and at last I will tell you what I do what I do so this will be my personal opinion after knowing all this and practicing these for many years I'll be telling you what I do okay and the aim of this lecture today's lecture will be to take you to a state where if I give you a number as 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 let's write any random number minus 9 8 7 4 1 9 and uh, and suppose if there are a list of numbers like minus plus 78 minus 115 plus 92 uh, minus 88 okay means any any random like minus 21 let's write more uh, like plus 41 minus 52 minus 26 plus 782 so I want to bring you to a state that just by looking at these numbers, you can very quickly write it as 246702. And uh, this uh, as like this 78, 115, 92, minus 80, minus, minus 2. Okay, this is minus 54. And this is simple, this is directly 745. And uh, combining these two, if you will write, it will become 691 in total. Like the sum of all this and all this is equal to 691. So I want to take you to a state where you can do this from this side, this also by one. Just looking at the number, list of numbers, you can directly tell me the answer. This will be the today's aim. Now, many of my friends and my well-wishers have suggested me to make shorter videos like shorter videos as in most of my videos or if you are following my channel you might have seen that my previous videos are of one hour or more so my uh, like close ones or my well wishers have suggested me 
that if you want good views on YouTube, you should break this into five uh, separate small small topics. But uh, even if I know that they are correct to some extent, I won't be doing that because I feel that once if I will make smaller smaller videos, then like only non-serious people will just be going through it. If a person is serious, if he want to really learn this thing, it will not matter to him whether he will he will be sitting for an hour or so. But once if he is knowing all this and he is reaching to a state of this, I think this time will be worth it. Also, I don't want to dilute the seriousness of my uh, whatever video I make, so I will not be making it into shorter shorter portions. I'm very sorry for it. You can pause and remember the timing if that is bothering you. After this, uh, okay, so I have just brief. Other than this, I will just also like to talk about the subscription and like this. I uh, like that. What I say, hey, many people on YouTube will be asking you to like, share, and subscribe the video. But what I feel that uh, it's it is having no other importance. Like suppose if you are liking it or you are subscribing it, you are just motivating a person to do something good or pay back to you. Otherwise, there is no other uh, reason for it. Anyway. If you feel like, then please like, share, and subscribe. And rest, I will proceed. So, first one, uh, let's talk about the first method, which is the general method. So, what do you do? Suppose if I write a list of numbers like 78 minus 22, uh, 88 minus uh, 24, uh, 99 minus 45, I write, let write another set also like uh, 91 minus 88 uh, 29 minus let's write smaller data let's it, let it be 22 or let it be 71 minus 58 and any another sort of number like 91 minus 29 so i guess everyone of you can write the answer of these things very quickly Fine, that's right. So this will be 56, this will be 64, this will be 54, this will be uh, 3, 0, 3, this will be 13, this will be 62. Okay, so I think all are correct. You can just have a check. Right, 9, uh, 11 minus 9, this is 2, and 8 minus 2 is 6, 62. 11 minus 8 is 3, and 6 minus 5 is 1. This is okay. So fine, let's uh, discuss this in a little bit more detail. Now, this, I guess, in these three, there was no trouble for you. You could have, uh, like, whether you are doing this way, like from uh, right to left, or whether you are doing it from, sorry, whether you are doing it from right to left, or from left to right, there is no trouble. Like, 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5 if you are going from this side. If you are going from uh, left to right, then also 7 minus 2 is 5, 8 minus 2 is 6. So, writing this 56 is not at all a trouble for you. Okay. Similarly, for this also, whether you go from this side or whether you go from this side. If you start from this side, then also it's 8 minus 4 is 4 and 8 minus 2 is 6. Same goes with this. But the problem will start from here. If you will try to go from this side, you will face the trouble. You will not be able to see. Yes, this number difference was not much. Many of for many of you, you might be seeing this as 91, and this is 88, and the only difference is 3. It's 88 plus 3 is 99. So writing this was also not so difficult for you. Whereas for this, there would be some difficulty. Many of you might have first made like subtracted 60 from this, and then further added 2. That that is one option. But going from left to right in this would be a difficult task so you might have gone from this end like you would have first made this 7 as 6 then you have borrowed 1 and 11 minus 8 which is 3 then 6 minus 5 which is 1 so 13 and in this maximum or major person of you might have felt the difficulty and you might have gone from this side only because it was difficult so, what you would have done, you would have crossed 9, made it to 8, you might have borrowed 1, made it to 11, 11 minus 9 is 2, and then 8 minus 2 is 6. 
okay so this three was i would say very easy and this three was relatively difficult understood so now let us just see figure out the problem so the major problem in this case was or the problem with subtraction what now we have realized is that suppose if there are some number like 2 1 4 and there is a number below it like 1 8 2 so in this this is 32 i can see this but it will be difficult for you right so why is it difficult because or if i write as 71 and try to subtract 48 from this then this is uh, difficult for you the reason being this one this one this number whenever this will be smaller than this number your difficulty will increase okay similarly in this case also if you are trying to go from this side then 2 minus 1 there was no trouble at all but 1 minus 8 was the trouble because this number is smaller than the 8 whereas here again there was no trouble at all 4 minus 2 is very simply 2 so you could have written this very nicely but the problem is coming whenever the top number is bigger than the bottom number understood so somehow we will try to eliminate this problem by some sort of manipulation okay that will be our aim now before i proceed let me give you the nomenclature of subtraction and this is not very uh, useful for to increase your speed but yes you should definitely know it suppose if i write a minus b is equal to some d difference then this a is called as a minoid minoid now let me write clearly otherwise you will not be able to read it m i n u e n d and this b is called as subtra end subtra end and their difference is called difference okay and uh, this is just a nomenclature how we deal with this okay this is mino end actually this is latin and the full name is mino end numerous and this is subtra end numerous but uh, that hardly matters to you but you should know that this is mino end this is subtra end so now the trouble if I try to write down then the main trouble or the difficulty with your uh, subtraction is subtraction difficulty is whenever digits of mino n is greater than digits of subtract subtract then your problem will happen understood means whenever the digit of this minoid okay so digits of this minoid with this number is smaller 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 than the subtract number then the problem will come similarly here also you see this is the digit of uh, minoid when this was smaller and the digit of subtract then the problem started okay 20 Three. Okay, so this trouble is happening whenever digits of mano n is smaller than digits of subtract. Now let us see how numbers are made. Now explaining these things will help you how uh, to understand all further steps. Okay, suppose if I write a number seven forty two, what does it mean? It means this is equal to seven into ten to the power two plus 4, uh, 40 plus 2 this 40 is actually your 4 into 10 to the power 1 so if i write this 742 in this fashion like 7 4 and 2 whereas start numbering these letters as 1 and this 2 you can understand that if i write 7 into 10 to the power 2 plus 4 into 10 to the power 1 plus 2 into 10 to the power 0 as here is no stick 
a stick number 0 if you want to write. So, this is this, this is this and this is this. Okay. This is one way uh, you have to understand that this 742 means this is very elementary thing in 3 or 4 you might have seen that this is unit digit, this is tens digit, this is 100 digit. So, it is a 700 plus 40 plus 2. I am just writing it and breaking down things to that elementary level. Okay. Now, whenever suppose if there is a number as 742 and you want to subtract a higher number like 98, what do you do? You cross out this, you make it 6 and you borrow 1 and that you borrow and you put as 1 here. Okay. Similarly, you cross this out, you make it 13 and you borrow 1 and you make it 12. Then what you do, you subtract 8 from 12 which is 4, then 9 from 13 which is 4 and then you write 6 as it is 6. Okay. But actually when you are crossing this 7 and writing 6 and transferring a digit 1, what is coming? Is 1 is coming? No. When it, a digit is crossing this line, then instead we write 1 over here but 1 is not coming, 100 is coming or to say 10 cross 2 is going there. If you are crossing 1 and going this side, then 10 cross 1, 10 to the power 1 is going over here. I will show you a bit in more detailed fashion. Suppose if I write 225 minus 78, I can write this as 200 plus 20 plus 5. Similarly, the 78 can be written as minus 70 minus 8. Correct? This is still the problem. This is still the problem. Is earlier these two were the problem. These two were the problem. So again, we can write this the top as 200. Uh, like what we will do, we will transfer 100 from here to here. So this will become 100 plus 120 because 100 has already gone. Earlier it was 20. Now you have transferred 100. So it is 120 plus 5 minus 70 and minus 8 because this is 78 so 70 and 8 now this problem has been solved you can subtract this but can you subtract this no you cannot subtract this. so again one step is needed that is 100 plus you have to transfer 10 to this side so this will be 110 plus 10 will go to here it will become 15 Please note that many of you might do mistake of writing it 50. No, only 10 is going from here to here. So after going 10, 5 will become 15. Now you can subtract 8. Now you can subtract 70. And now you see it's very simple. This is 40. This is 7. And this is 100. So this is 147. If you subtract from here also, you can see it is 147. So the point to be noted over here is that you are cutting this to making it 1 and you are transferring it here but in actuality you are not transferring 1 you are transferring 100 okay this is also fine many of you might be knowing this already but just for sake of stating it i have stated it okay now come to our so uh, till now we have identified the problem the problem is of borrowing borrowing is the problem okay so somehow we have to get rid of it that is fine now let us compare with what shopkeeper shopkeepers generally do suppose if you go to market and you give the shopkeeper a 2000 rupees note and you have made a bill of some post 384 okay how they generally deal with this Actually, if you want to see this graphically, it means that there is 0 rupees, you have given in 2000 rupees, shopkeeper has, this is 384 mark, so this is 0 rupees. So, this is shopkeeper share, shopkeeper share and this is what you have to get or return. So, what he will do, he will very cleverly first give you 6 rupees. He will 
start his counting from 384 and he will try to go towards 2000. How? First he will give you 6 rupees. Then in his mind he has crossed from 384 to 390. Then he will give you 10 rupees note. Now he has reached to 400. And then from 400 to 2000 he knows he has to give you 1600 rupees. So now he has reached 2000 rupees. And then he will sum the, all these and he will be done with the calculation. So this is 1616. 16, 1616 rupees he has to give you. 1616 rupees. Understood? What shopkeepers generally they will do? They will first give you 6 rupees by coins. Now they have reached to 390. Then they will give you 10 rupees. Now they have reached to 400. And then they will give you 1600 rupees to go to 2000 rupees. So total 1616 rupees they will return you if there is a bill of 384. So they will do this. So how shopkeepers have overcome this problem of borrowing is very simple. They have understood the concept of addition. They are somehow trying to convert this subtraction into a method of addition and then they will add these things up over here and then they will make their calculation simpler and faster because adding is simpler than subtracting just because of borrow. Okay, so either you can do this whenever it needs or you can modify the technique. We will be reading many techniques. Okay, now second thing. Let's now modify the uh, our technique of subtraction. Modification of method. Now, what do we mean by this? Suppose uh, we will write a number 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's subtract 8, 9, 7. Now, see, uh, my only aim while writing two digits right now is that these digits are smaller, these are bigger. Then the problem of carry will come. That is my sole motive of writing the random numbers. Okay. So now see, instead of subtraction, we, if we somehow convert this problem of addition, our trouble will go. Here is the trouble. Here is no trouble. Okay. So how to do this? I will tell you an example. Like you are crossing this three and putting one here. Now don't do this. What I will suggest you that we will go from top to bottom like this. We will not subtract top to bottom. We will add bottom to top. Example, earlier you were saying 14 minus 7 and then you are writing 7. Correct? Now you don't do this. You first have to mark on the top which all digits are smaller than the bottom numbers. Means where the problem of borrowing may come. So you can very easily see here is the problem, here is the problem, here also is the problem, here no problem because 0 is there. Okay. Now we will try to go from bottom to top and we will ask us what should be added to 7 so that it becomes 14. Okay. What should like earlier we were doing 14 minus 7. No. Now we will do what should be added to 7 that it becomes 14. You can very well see it's 7 only. Now, what you will do, you will come here and you will add 1 in this mentally. So now it's 10. Okay, earlier it was 9. You have come here, added 1. Now you have modified it to 10. Now what should be added to this 10? So it becomes 30. It's very simple. 3. Again, you will come here, you will add 1 here. It's 9. What should be added to 9 so that it becomes 12, this big 12, so that is 3 and done, this is your answer, okay. Again, I will show you one more example, if it was confusing and this time what I will do, I will mix it up like 1, 7, 2, 9, 2, 1 and let us subtract uh, 3, 8, 2, 7, 5. Okay. So, it's very simple. You can easily first mark which are the smaller numbers where the problems will come. No, here is no trouble. 
here this 2 is less than 8 here trouble may come here no trouble here trouble trouble okay now what i will do very simply i will go from there what should be added to 5 to make it 11 it's 6 come here make is 8 8 plus 1 so 8 what should be added to make it 12 it's very simple it's 4 4 here dot is there you come and add 1 over here 3 what should be added to 3 so it becomes 9 it's 6 now here addition is not needed because here there was no trouble okay now what should be added to 8 it so it becomes 12 it's 4 here 1 is added again 4 to 7 3 0 to 1 1 1 3 4 6 4 6 now in this we are not doing anything extra we are doing the same number of calculations like earlier whatever by general method what you will do like 11 minus 5 6 then 11 minus 5 to 7 4 same way you are doing but by this method it will be faster like the number of operations are same number of operations are same but execution speed is higher and this higher because you are not doing subtraction instead you are doing addition here the borrow problem is not there here addition is happening or indirectly we are cutting the borrowing thing but still this method is faster you try it couple of times and you will realize what i am saying okay so this is one method like in this we are modifying our trouble of borrowing and we are converting the problem of subtraction to addition and then we are reducing okay now let's talk about the third method this is dnc dnc stands for divide and conquer now how do this number works now first thing this is very powerful when two digit numbers are there two digit numbers like two digit numbers like example if I write 72 minus 38, then this is very quick. Or if I write uh, 81 minus 29, then how to do this? This is very simple. I will write 72 as one by one. We will see. Okay, let's read this first. So we can write 72 as 70 plus 2 and 38 as minus 30 minus 8 then you can do subtraction this is 40 and this is minus 6 and then this is 34 okay very simple no issue at all the 70 minus 30 is 40 2 minus 8 is minus 6 and this is 34 okay understood now this is not a very smart way of let me read it not a smart way of dividing why i will show you one more smart method and that smart method is also very pop like just by common sense only it is just an observation no trick i can break this 72 as let this 72 be 72 and we can minus minus 30 minus 8 now 72 minus 30 is 42 it's very simple it's like you can very quickly see and then 42 minus 8 is also 34 you can just see this because if you have practiced addition, then you can very quickly see that the, here it is ending with 12 and what should be subtracted from 12, uh, like when 8 is subtracted from 12, it is coming around 4. So this you can very quickly see that 42 to 34. Okay. Uh, one more example, let us see. Suppose if I say 81 minus 29. So it's very simple. 81 minus 20 minus 9 so this is 61 minus 9 52 okay or uh, you can write 81 as 80 plus 1 and 29 as minus 20 minus 9 and this is 60 minus 8 this is 52 whichever suits you there is no trouble at all like some people will like this i know because here it is coming 60 minus 8 and when something is ending with 0, you are very happy to subtract a number. 
it's totally fine by me there is no issue at all uh, but this should be visible at like this should you should be able to visualize this now like 52 minus 28 so 50 minus 20 30 30 minus 6 24 what i did you understood like i will tell you one more like suppose uh, 92 minus uh, anything 77 90 minus 70 it's 20 and 20 and this is minus 5 right here minus 8 no similarly minus 5 so 20 minus 5 50 this can be extrapolated further like suppose if there is a number like 742 minus 297 what should be done 700 minus 200 500 okay minus 50 and minus 5 okay Let, just see what i'm doing 700 minus 200 it's 500 400 uh, 40 minus 90 minus 50 and 2 minus 7 is minus 5 so it's 450 500 minus 50 is 450 and minus 5 445 okay very simply you can see this or you can if uh, you are facing any trouble in this you can another way of doing this uh, how but i think that will be unnecessarily longer method and this is more easy but i will show you let's show you whatever suits you the best so first 700 minus 200 now it is 542 now 542 minus 97 then you should be able to see this as 445 and this is also not a very big task because after a point of time when you will practice addition then you can see this also and if you are have if like see why i am telling this is easy to understand this is faster to execute okay so if you will practice addition you will reach to a state where you can directly see this that's why this is faster and this is easier but what I would suggest you that in exams and all, sometime saving little time, if you will do mistake in this, then all the, these short tricks and all, all are in, un, like all will go waste. So better to stick to easier where your mental state will be not, you will not be so stressed and you can get the correct answer one second later than a wrong answer in half second. Okay, so this is something which you should know. This, but you also you should practice. I would expect you to reach to this state. Okay, uh, otherwise I will be teaching you many other methods by which you can go to this also very quickly. Fine. Now, let's talk about method number four, which is subtra and modification. Now, what is this? Now. As I have told you that if I write a minus b is equal to difference, then this is called subtract. Okay, now let us uh, see some observations. Suppose there is a number like a minus b is equal to some c. Okay, if I write this as a plus epsilon minus b plus epsilon, is there any change what will happen? No because it will open as a plus epsilon minus b minus epsilon this epsilon will cross this epsilon and this will again be equal to c similarly if i write a minus some epsilon minus b e minus some epsilon then also there will be no change it will be e minus epsilon minus b plus epsilon so this will cross out this and again this will be similar to this understood so what is this i will tell you Actually, what I am trying to tell you is that if there are two numbers like 72 minus 28, if I add something to this or if I subtract something to both of this, then also my answer will be same. So what my aim should be that this epsilon should be such a number that this problematic thing vanishes example if i write 72 minus 28 if i add 2 in this and if i add 2 in this then also 
my answer will not differ understood here epsilon is 2 so this will become 74 and this will become 30 and now you can see it is 44 any problem till there i hope there should not be any problem like i'll just tell you again if i am adding something or subtracting something there is no issue fine so whatever will be most suitable i will be doing that sometime i will be adding something sometime i will subtracting something okay <coughs> let us see some more examples by this subtract uh, corrections i like suppose if i uh, write to like like 748 minus 90 89 okay now i can very easily see that if i add plus 11 in this my trouble is very easy this is minus 100 and this addition as i you have practiced earlier this is 759 minus 100 659 if you have seen my previous addition lecture you can very well write this quickly minus 100 659 understood now so whenever there will be some number like suppose 38 minus 115 very simple plus 2 plus 2 so it is 117 minus 14 and you can very well see what where it is going okay so this is coming around 77 very quickly you can see instead of in this also what has happened i will just tell you i will show you what has happened see if 115 minus 38 okay here this number was big uh, this number was smaller than this number but after addition of 2 it has become 117 and this has become 40 now you see here this 11 is bigger than 4 no trouble at all and 7 is bigger than 0 so no trouble at all so 11 minus 4 is 7 and 7 minus 0 is 7 so there is no issue at all the moment like some people might be uh, thinking how to go from here to here like okay 70 plus 40 is 110 and then 7 more no you don't need to do that thing you just have to see here that now once if you are writing 117 minus 40 you have just changed the order now 11 is bigger than 4 directly you can write from this end and 7 is bigger than 0, you just have to write 7. And this is 77, this is the answer. Understood? So, this is called subtra and modification. You can subtra, like if you like till now I have shown you the examples of addition only, let me show you some uh, subtraction thing also. Like suppose 742 minus 22. Let us subtract 2 and 2. So, this is 740 minus 20. Now, you see again. 7 is bigger than here no digit 4 is bigger than 2 0 is equal to 2 this is 720 okay very quickly fine uh, like understood so this subtract and modification is also a technique now you should know now come to the last fifth part which is the vedic mathematic technique uh, so vmt now in this before i start I will be teaching you or I will be suggesting you some more methods in this and you have to see what are those like you just have to observe okay now there is a concept of base there is a number there is a base and there is a complement okay now what do I mean by this suppose there is a number 7 or if there is a number as 47 or there is a number as uh, 982 okay so what the base of each number will be it's very simple the base will be just write 10 to the power number of digits it's one so it's one it's 10 to the power two because there are two digits four and seven so i'm writing two similarly for 982 it's 10 to the power three and complement is equal to base minus number means 10 minus 7 which is equal to 3 so complement of 7 is 3 or we also write this as 7 bar this symbol is for complement this symbol is for complement so many times we will be calling it by bar complement or either bar 
So if I write 7 bar, it means it's, it has to be subtracted from its base and then the number will be our answer. Okay. Similarly, here it is 10 to the power 2 minus 47 and is equal to 53 or equal to 47 bar. Now, okay, uh, I will come to this 982. Complement of this number 982 is 0, 1, 8, and this is equal to uh, means same way complement is uh, one minute. Complement is equal to 10 to the power 3 minus 982, which is equal to 18. And we can also write this 18 as 982 bar. Understood? So, <clears throat> how we will use this, I will tell you. But just for now, you have to understand this. Suppose if there is a number, uh, okay, this is, uh, that's it, okay. There is a something called a number. Every number has a respective base and every number has a complement. How to find complement is base minus that number, okay. Now, an obvious question will be, is there any simpler method to find the complement? Because still now, you have seen that any number, if I give you like 72, its writing base will not at all a problem, 10 to the power 2. But writing complement is the problem, okay. So, complement is a problem. So, let me give you a trick. Trick is very simple. Trick is all from 9 last from 10. Now, this is uh, not something what I am telling you. This is as per Vedic mathematics and this is called Nikhilam. This is called Nikhilam. This is called Nikhilesh. Nikhilesh. Now, to be very honest, I will never be calling it Nikhilam or I will never be calling it Nikhilesh. These are the useless jargon. But just for sake of it, if you uh, hear it somewhere, then you should not be like confused that I don't know. You know it, but I'm just not telling you. I'm avoiding myself from taking these names because uh, although I'm very proud that we Indians have found this Vedic mathematics technique, but I sh I'm not telling you because these are useless, will reduce your speed. And our ultimate aim is to not do that. Okay. So, all from 9, last from 10. So, suppose there is a digit as 72. So, last digit is this. So, so, our last digit is this and our not last digit is this. So, what I have to do? I have to subtract this from 9 from 9 and we have to subtract this from 10 and whatever will be the number that will be our complement. So, 9 minus 7 is 2 and 10 minus 2 is 8. Okay. So, if you will do 100 minus 72, it is 28 and this is what we have got. Okay. Now, one few more examples I will show you. Suppose there is a number, its base and then the bar, bar or complement. Okay. So, this is equal to number bar. So, suppose just now we saw 72 base was 100 or 10 to the power 2 and this bar is equal to base minus number and this is equal to 28 okay 2 and 8 suppose there is a number as 342 how to find so this is very simple 10 to the power 3 3 digits 3 numbers and how to find this bar is very simple this is the last digit so this has to be subtracted from 10 and all other from 9 so, it is 6, 5, 8. Okay. Some more digits. Suppose the number is 1, 7, 8, 1. So, 10 to the power 4 is and our this in 1, 7, 8, 1, this is the last digit and these are not so last digits. So, this we have to subtract from 10, this we have to subtract from 9. So, the complement will be 8, 2, 1, 9. Okay. There is no issue at all. Fine. Now, one very typical example. 
and you have to take care of it. Suppose if there is a number as 20, base is very simple, what should be the bar? Now in here, many of you might uh, do this, that this is the large digit. So this has to be subtracted from 10, this has to be subtracted from 9 and then you will write it as 70 what? 10? No, it will be 7 and 10, this will be 80, this one will shift towards here and this you can very well see it also, if I write 100 which is base minus number which is 20 then this should come as 80, okay. So this is how 80, but how should we do this? Should we do this carry over business over here? No, you don't need to do the carry over business. You just have to number, base and complement. So suppose if there is a number uh, like 214600, you just have to ignore these two zeros, okay. You just have to ignore these two zeros and you have to write the complement and then put back the zeros. Like the base in this case will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. And here you just have to write this, ignore these two zeros, ignore. Make it as last and all these are not last. So you have to subtract this from 9 and this from 10. You just have to write the number like 7. 8, 5, 4, double 0. You can practice this with smaller digits because that will be simpler. Like suppose if I write 30, base is 100 and very simple. You just have to ignore this, make this a last digit and last digits should be subtracted from 10. So 10 minus 3 is 7 and put back the 0 over here, 70. And you can very well see that 30 plus 70 is 100. Okay. Now, what I have taught you till now that in Vedic mathematics, Vedic mathematics, BMT, I am writing Vedic mathematics technique, I have taught you the meaning of number, I have taught you the meaning of base and I have taught you the number of bar, okay. Now how this becomes useful, suppose if I write A minus B, okay, now can I write this B as Okay, mm. this number is equal, to, let me write use this, what I have taught, what is this bar? Bar is equal to base minus number, no trouble at all, okay. Can I write this number is equal to base minus bar? No, no trouble at all, this is also correct thing only. I have just put uh, this number to this side, bar to that side, okay. So now, if there is, I will take negative sign common, if it is minus number, can I write minus base plus bar? Yes, this is also possible. So how to do this, that suppose if I write this, if A minus B is there, this is a minus number like this, so I can write A plus base of B. minus base of b plus b bar and often you might have seen that the bases are 10 to the power some number so subtraction of this is easier whereas addition is always easy this is addition which is very easy and this subtraction of a base will be also very easy how i will show you with some examples okay this is how uh, i just wanted to show you the proof what I will be doing further and how our uh, old people have reached to this state. Like suppose if there is a number 72 and I have to subtract 48 from this. What I can do, I can write 72 minus base of this 48 which is 10 to the power 2 and we have to add 48 bar. So it is like 72 and you know how to find 48 bar, it's 52 and then you have to subtract 100. So this, now you know how to add this very quickly, it's 1, 2, 4, minus 100. So this is equal to 24. Just check here what is coming, 
it is coming like 74 minus 50 so it's 24 now what i have done 74 minus 50 i have done subtra and correction now you are seeing how things are attached and which one to be used where in here instead of this like i have just shown you the vedic vmt i have to demonstrate with simpler things now that's why i have shown you this vmt but instead of vmt subtra and correction would be more powerful over here just add 2 over here 2 over here this is 74 minus 50 24 directly you can see other than this now we are not doing subtra and correction so we i just have to teach you this that 72 minus base of 48 and then 48 itself now what quick thing i will do i will ignore the now one more uh, option you just see like uh, 115 minus uh, 88 okay so what is this i can do 115 minus 10 to the power 2 base of this plus 88 bar so this is 115 minus 100 plus 1 2 now see this is 15 plus 12 27 and this if you will do this this will also come to be 27 so this is simpler now okay not yet simpler because space is very large space is large simpler but space is large how to reduce the space like in exam you will always be running with two constraints time and space and like einstein <laughs> uh, spent his entire life in this but uh, let me tell you this time and space will be bothering you also if you are taking less time or, or, then very good if you are taking more space that is also very bad because space is also limited in exams time is also limited so always we have to optimize our time and we have to optimize our space by this method we are okay optimizing the time part but space is very high how to deal with this i will show you now quickly suppose now if someone is giving me a bigger number like right? 115214 and they ask me to subtract a number like 98745 what i would do i will just write the complement of this how all from 9 last from 10 so 0 1 2 5 5 and then i will directly cross it out because i have written the bar of it okay this is the bar now this bar and this has to be added you know how to add this quickly it's very simple it's one one six four six nine this i have already taught you and now you have to take away bar for uh, base from here subtract base so for removing base you just cross out this digit the last digit over here we remove it and your answer is one six four six nine understood is it not clear okay i will tell you explain what i have done again our initial question was this like 1 1 5 2 1 4 and we have to subtract 9 8 7 4 5 from this so first what i wrote i wrote bar of this digit just top of it so 9 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 8 1 9 minus 7 2 9 minus 4 5 and 10 minus 5 because 10 because this was the last so 10 minus 5 5 and then i added these two digits it was very simple now and then i subtracted the base from this the base will be 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 so 10 to the power 5 when you will subtract it will take away this digit okay the last digit if it is 1 then otherwise you have to reduce this by 1 one more example i will show you suppose a digit is 7 8 uh, 7 let me write now smaller 7 1 5 and you have to subtract 1, 8, 9. What to be done? First, write bar of this. How to write bar of this? 9 minus 1, 8. eight uh, 9 minus 8, 1. 10 minus 9, 1. Cross this out. Okay. Now write this. This is 1, 5, 2, 6. And now from last digit, you have to reduce 1 okay you have to reduce one because you have to reduce from here 10 to the means this is one two three so thousand you have to reduce so this is one thousand five twenty six 
from here you have to reduce 1000 so this is 526 understood it is very simple means once you write down the summation of these two this is number this is bar and when you cross out this one this is removing of base okay this is 526 is answer so now uh, let us recap quickly for VMT so in VMT I have taught you number I have taught you base I have taught you bar okay then I have taught you how to convert subtraction to addition of bar minus base okay this we have done now let me teach you some properties properties of bar suppose if I write 7 to bar what is the meaning of this you know this is equal to 10 to the power 2 minus 72 this is base base for 72 is two digits 1 2 10 to the power 2 minus 72 and this will be very simple you know how to find this all from 9 last from 10 so 28 correct yes very nice <coughs> I will tell you more suppose if I write 72 bar now see these two are different what is the difference I will tell you when I write 72 bar there is only bar on 2 so it means that this is 70 minus means 7 into 10 minus 2 this is equal to 68 similarly if I write 1 2 3 4 and there is a bar on 2 and there is a bar on 4 it means I am writing 1 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 minus 2 into this is 4 sorry 1 2 3 4 this is at 1000 place so 1, 1 into 10 to the power 4 minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus 3 into 10 minus 4 okay so this you have to this is the expansion meaning of this okay now <clears throat> this will be very simple this will be your 8 to 6 you just find this it will come to be this now your this is the property means this is the meaning of writing bar okay 72 full bar is equal to 28 now there is one more small property of this which I will write like to write that property is very niche that is very like 72 bar I can write at minus 72 it means that Seventy-two bar is equal to hundred minus seventy-two. No, not like this. Means I, I just wanted to tell you something else. Like, see, I will tell you. Like, seventy-two bar is equal to seventy minus two. If I write take a minus sign here, means seventy-two. This thing it will become minus seventy plus two. Okay, well understood. So I can write this as seven bar. Is there any trouble into this? No. So it means what? Means this is equal to this, or it simply means that if there is a number like 1, 2 bar, 3, 2, uh, 3 and 4 bar, okay, write anything here, this hardly matters, like 4 bar. So if you take a minus sign outside, it will become 1 bar, 2, 3 bar, 4. So with negative sign the bar changes something very similar to matrix and all what you have seen the a complement and then again a like a transpose and transpose of transpose is again back to a like in matrix what you have read a transpose and again a transpose means a only so similarly is something like that okay like one two three four if you take out a minus sign this will become minus over here so fine so suppose if someone is telling you minus uh, sorry seven bar four it means minus 7 4 bar and this is equal to minus 70 minus 4 or it is equal to 66 okay 
Now, why I am telling you so much useless, you might think that why this fellow is teaching a so useless thing that uh, bar and all those properties, I will tell you now. Okay, this is also very uh, important thing. Just now what we have seen in VMT, I have told you about uh, numbers, their basis, their bar. Okay, and now I have told you some properties of this. How to expand it also I have told you that uh, suppose it is a 74 bar then it is 70 minus 4. This expansion I have taught you. Okay. Now I have to teach you that suppose if there is 7 and 4 bar how to write this means this is expansion and after that how to write 66. This is my goal. Means from here I have to teach you how to write this thing. See. As I, I have discussed earlier that whenever 1 is being transferred from here to here, it is not 1 but it is 10. Okay, means this 70 minus 4, I can write this as by transferring 10, I can write 60 plus 10 minus 4 and this is equal to 60 minus plus 6, this is 66. Okay, so I am if I am transferring something it is just opposite of how you have found the bar numbers. Understood? The way you have found complement was similar to this. I will just tell you how. Suppose if there is a number as 4, 7 bar, 2 bar and then 8, 1 bar. So it's very simple. You take away 1 from here, make it 3 and when you travel 1, then you just do all from 9 last from 10. All from 9 last from 10. Understood? What is that? I just made 4 as 3. Now this is all from these two are together. So what is the last digit in this? This is the last digit. So you subtract this from 10 and this from 9. So this will be 9 minus 7, this is 2, this is 10 minus 2, this is 8, there is no bar, but next to it there is a bar, so you just cross it, you write it as 7, and this is only the last digit, so 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So if you expand this, like this 4, 7, 2, 8, 1 bar, if you write it as 4 into 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and minus 7 into 10 to the power 4, then minus 2 into 10 to the power 3 plus 8, 880 and minus 1, I, I have written wrong I think, 4, 3, 2, 1 like this, okay. So, if you will do all this calculation, it will match to this number. This is the whole idea. Uh, one more let me show you. This is a little bit confusing I know, but it is only for beginners. Once you understand this, this will become very easy for you. Okay, I will just show you one more example. What you have to do? Suppose there is a number like uh, 2, 8 bar, 3 bar, 4 bar. Suppose there is no number with any bar like let me 2. 1 and then there is some more 7 bar then what should you do very simple you just reduce this by 1 it's 1 so it's become 1 and then as there is a series of number last from 10 all from 9 okay so 9 minus 8 1 9 minus 3 6 10 minus 4 6 2 will remain 2 1 will become 0 and this is the last digit itself means last digit in this series of bar numbers okay last digit in this bar number series this is 3 so this is equal to this now how is this learning will help you in subtraction is the main rule so see now if i give you any number random number suppose if i give you 2 1 4 5 6 and you have to subtract any number out of this 1, 9, 8, 2, 7. You write down the number 
from this end directly it's 1 this is 8 bar this 1 minus 9 is how much minus 8 but you just write 8 bar this is 4 bar this is 3 and this is 1 bar don't worry about negative and positive you just write this and now you know how to convert this to normal number and that is very simple you cross this out make it 0 it will go over 9 minus 8 is 1 10 minus 4 is 6 3 will become 2 because it, there is a bar next to it and 10 minus 1 will be 9. 1629 will be the answer. Okay. So this first you have to write bar and then you have to convert. I guess this is a well understood fact by now to you. If not, just watch the series like the video again. You will understand there is no rocket science in this. It is very simple observations what I have been teaching you. Okay. Uh, suppose some one more example you see if, if it is simple number I will take it let us to uh, 72 and subtract some number 39 from this you write 4 and 7 bar then what you will do you will cross this 4 reduce this 4 to 3 and there is only one bar digit so 10 minus 7 it's 3 you can check 3 and uh, you can just see 3 and 9, 12, 2, and 4 and 7, 11, 4 and 3, 7, you just check this, okay, fine, so this is very simple when, if you have to write this and then you have to write, there is no brain game, you don't have to go from this side, but in this pro also there is a small problem and that problem is that you have to first write this number, and then you have to convert it to original number, how to get rid of this? that is the ultimate aim so let us start to do that so uh, what we will do I will write any number suppose 3 1 2 3 8 1 and any number suppose we write 7 8 5 2 9 what you have to do you have to go from here this side that is our sole aim okay and you have to very quickly you just have to go this way and you have to very quickly mark the numbers where the problem is coming the problem of carry how to see that whenever this mino end is lesser than this the problem will come okay here also will come here it will not come here it will come correct then what you have to do you have to reduce this by one and you write this two correct then you subtract this 7 from 9. See, there is a series of 3 dots, problematic dots, 1, 2, 3. So, what you have to do, you have to first mark it out, this is the last digit. Here only one dot is there, so this is the last digit only. Here not so. So, what you have to do, very simple. You have to subtract this number from 9. Subtract this number from 9. So, 9 minus 7 is how much? 2 and you just add in this. It's 3. Similarly, 9 minus 8 is 1. You add this 1 in here. It's 3. And as this is the last digit, which is 5, you subtract this from 10. So, 10 minus 5 is 5 and you have to add in this 8. 2. No issue at all. You just have to subtract directly 8 minus 2 it should be 6 but I am not writing 6 because there is a problematic dot I will write 5 there is only 1 so 10 minus 9 plus 1 which is 2 so if you subtract 3 1 2 3 8 from uh, sorry if you subtract 7 8 5 2 9 from 3 1 2 1 8 this will be your answer and this is this as we decided in the very beginning of the lecture this will be our aim and now you have reached to this okay how i will show you again let us take one more example let the example be very should i let us take a basic example 2 1 2 9 and let us abstract from this 8 8 and 8 find out the problematic you don't need to draw the dots for beginners you can do it but after a point of time you will not need it so 2 
will be 2 but as there are dots I will definitely not write 2 I will write 1 9 minus 8 is 1 and 1 2 10 minus 8 is 2 and 2 4 9 minus 8 is 1 1 2 4 1 answer you can check it I don't mind okay so I hope you understood this uh, don't get afraid of this method it might look very uh, like what you say intimidating at the starting but once if you practice it will become very smooth like 7 8 again I am writing bigger numbers 2 4 9 and let us write any other digits like uh, 6 2 9 3 uh, 8 any problematic digit in this yes only this no other problematic digit so I can directly go from here to here so no issue at all it's 1 it's 8 minus 2 is 6 but I will write 5 10 minus 9 is 1 plus 2 is 3 4 minus 3 1 9 minus 8 1 answer and as uh, I have told in the very starting or the beginning I wrote a number I guess now you can go back and you can practice that so 1 has been received so right so as per today's lecture I will just conclude today lecture conclusion so we saw the problem problem of borrowing okay and we saw many things and subtract and modification and all that and at last we reached to VMT where we saw number base bar then some properties of this bar properties and then I taught you two things how to convert 72 bar to 68 very quickly that I just taught, taught you how to make this once you understood this problem then very quickly you have like you can do suppose 1 2 3 4 5 and uh, 9 8 9 9 9 triple 8 you can do the subtraction from very quickly 12 minus 9 is 3 but I will write 2 because all are problematic so 1 plus 3 4 1 plus 4 5 2 plus 5 7 this is the answer so this stage you have to reach just by seeing from right to left you have to tell the answer and how to deal with list of numbers also you have seen list of numbers list of numbers by divide and conquer so this is my final box dick suppose if there are two now as I promised I will be telling you my style so what my style is so my style is very simple if I see there is a list of big number list of another big numbers I subtract by this way going using BMT okay like suppose if I see 1 2 3 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 1 2 1 and then I have to subtract suppose 9 8 7 anything so I uh, blah 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 I go by BMT but if I see a list of number like 72 minus 81 plus 115 like this if I see a set of numbers I do divide and conquer 70 plus 110 110 is 70 is 180 minus 80 is 100 100 plus 7 107 minus 106 this is how I will do it okay so when I see a list of number then I do divide and conquer when I see a long uh, string of numbers I do VMT but being said that your subtract and modification and all other methods are also becoming very handy at times so that should also be remembered now with this I would like to conclude today's lecture but yes uh, before doing that I have to tell you something like kindly don't think that I forgot like last in after uh, like in the previous lecture of addition there is something that you might be thinking that how to handle bigger numbers like suppose if someone is selling 28 and uh, like let us write bigger numbers huh? 78 then 7824 adding with 6832 adding it with 9156 how to add this like in the previous uh, additions lecture I have only given you how to add two two numbers but in practical or in reality we can get bigger numbers no it is not that I have forgot this I have intentionally left it because I will be covering this in miscellaneous right now you people are you might people might not be so mature to handle this why what I will do 
if you are master in adding two two numbers i will just draw a line over here and very quickly i can say that the 78 68 91 is around 237 and this 24 32 56 is around 112 as there are two two digits only i will write two digits here which is two and i will borrow one from here it's 238 this will be my answer so first you have to this is just a uh, demo of what you are missing if you cannot add two digit numbers very quickly then what you are missing is this it can be just extrapolated similarly if there are bigger number like 7824 minus 6832 plus 9156 it's not that you are missing something I will do the similar operation over here I will be dividing into two as I have practiced a lot for the list of numbers I will be handling this up and I will writing the answer so it's not that I have missed something it's just that you people are not ready to handle it so I have done kindly practice the addition what I have asked you to uh, do in the last lecture and with that we will build up on that thank you if you are till here and kindly like share and subscribe keep me motivated and see you guys Katil Kabuta signing off Jai Hind